Hey everybody, how's it going today? Well, just got off the phone with the guy doing the construction work for her. Make sure her concrete's still on for Friday. Uh, well, story behind that, but hey, it, it's getting worked out. Concrete's still on schedule, so. Uh, I'll probably be mad, but as you can see, you can see, and there's right on cue, it's normal. I pick up the camera. Hey, mate, just, just like leaving your phone on silent. Make it get 10 minutes calls. Turn it up as loud as it go and nobody ever calls. Anyway, way, uh, Roger's been having fun being a firebug. We've been burning up garbage. I had the burn barrels were full and had two cans in here while Roger's been out burning them up since it rained. Everything's wet. Good time to burn it. So anyway, uh, as you can see, we've got the bench here. Got some metal here. The engine stand. Uh, I've been sitting here thinking on how to make a adapter to go on my engine stands to hold transmissions and then one for a transfer case because I got thinking that black truck I want to go through the transfer case too because the guy told me he used to bang the thing in between four wheel drive and uh, I'm like really so why I got it out and it don't look like the transfer case are that hard and I want to make sure well I'll look at the corner where they usually ate through and started leaking uh, so I've got I want to do some welding, which means I'm going to end up digging out the welder that's hiding back in that corner right there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I've got a couple of welding projects I'm thinking about doing. Uh, yeah. Uh, got some metal outside that's rusty. Might let Roger clean that up. We'll get these. Because I think I had enough to build three engine stands. I want to get those. Because I found out uh, Buddy's 454 is getting closer. I talked to the machine shop yesterday. Those motors are coming. And I asked him, I said, have you actually touched my small block? He said yesterday the crack has been repaired in the block. So all he's got to do is bore and hone it. And the block will be ready. The crank's laying right there in that box right there. I got him the pistons. Yes, I got him the pistons. Oh, I gotta get him some rod bolts. Shit, I gotta get some new rod bolts. Uh, so that motor is coming. So those two are coming yet. I haven't forgot about them. And I know I've seen a couple of you guys like, all right, a 400 wheel. I'm gonna have to find a new 400 block because I ended up selling mine. Which is okay. So, uh, I wanna get these engine stands done and then I wanna have something to put this tranny on and I, I know a lot of well when he tears them down I guess they're on the bench but I want to have a tranny on a stand so when I tear it down sorry about that so I have some other projects that I think I'm going to do I'm just really bored uh, really it's just, I got a bottle of peroxide I have out here, and I see the lids off it. <laughs> Doesn't work peroxide good. Stupid things like that I notice. But then there's days I can't find shit in front of my face. <laughs> so, yeah. Thought about bringing the Bonneville in too and starting on that. But I want to get the parts on this John Deere, get the John Deere back together so we can mow a couple more times. It looks like we're going to be needing to. Uh, I should call up that John Deere dealer and tell him that I need. Because some of the stuff I needed, they had to order in. Oh, I just... So I guess I'm going to shut up, get stuff set up and ready. Now, at least if I get the bodies together, then I can put the wheels and that on later, which means I want to get a bunch of wheels, which I should actually call bomb guards and say, hey, I need X amount of these. Can you get them in? So, I thought about putting some of those heavy-duty rubberized or whatever on my engine stands. I'm like, nah, I want to stay with steel on steel. They seem to do the best. But, uh... Yeah, I really... Okay. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Okay, I think I'm ready. 
almost. Got the they just stand right out of here, so get big. I'm gonna slip the stock. Get that on it. Yeah, there it fell.
Good, two passes. Pretty good gap there in the trim fill. I'll just cheat and fill it. There you go, there's your basic close it out. Engine stand. There you go. And that's about all the time. Ah, my back can handle. Uh, there we go. Not the best. That's I, I should have stopped and sat down. But uh, there you go. There's another four-legged engine stand. And if you can see it, I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, kind of. That kicks back. I never put those so they're straight up and down. I kick kick them back a little so that way when you put the weight on it levels out. So all right, cool. Another one. And that's is uh, I got enough metal for two more uprights there. But the base, I am now out of my two by three I think I'm using. So yep. Oh, that's why. Okay. The one weld on the back here got a little crowd. So. Alright. And there you go. I ground up the bottom. No more wiggle. I just had to weld a little crowd. Well, and uh, I'll fill you guys in too. Found out what's going on with my insulin. That brick of insulin I got a while back that said it was for. I was going to get a four month supply. Well, that's all they were going to send is that work of insulin. I didn't get my four month supply. Like, really? So, here's what I got left for insulin. Well, this is what I got now one pen, that's a day, and three vials. So, I've got about a week to figure out how to get more insulin now. So, yay me. Told the wife she was supposed to check at work to see what it's going to take to get me on her insurance now. Everybody keeps pushing for Title 19, but you know what? Last time we got paperwork, I didn't like how they had changed wording on things, and uh, yeah. Because according to the paperwork, I would be penalized for doing what I'm doing instead of just sitting around doing nothing. Now I'm not going to go down that road. I, I'm getting to where I'm enjoying life, having fun, and trying to keep moving forward, and trying to do what I can, and just go. 
So, um, hopefully, I gotta call around. I know most of the stores. I gotta see if I can find my uh, receipt from uh, the last wheels I bought. I think they're two and a half. And they were like 250 pounds each. I don't remember. But I know the stores that I'm gonna go to don't have enough wheels because I'm gonna need eight wheels. And you know, one guy I'll call up and I'll talk to her at the store and see, hey, how many come in a case? So there's been times I bought stuff by the case and she gives me a better deal yet, so. And I thought I had some tubing. And then I found the tubing. I got some one-inch tubing up there. Yeah, but this is a nice long chunk. Okay, so I do have one-inch tubing. So that'll probably be the next project. Oh, what time is it? I, I hate this. That's it. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's it. I want to make a holder and a head to go on my engine stands to hold those trannies. Or I might try and figure out how to mount it off this bench here. You see, yeah, I got the pipe there, and then and have it hooked to this and so but I got like I said enough metal for two more engine stands to the upright so I gotta get some more two that's what I was gonna do earlier. Let's do that together. Oops you guys fell back. Two by ow how many of you just had their teeth on yep two by three and it is eighth wall I need some more 2x3. No, I... Ah, I turned on the light. That's what I've done. Really? Come on. Ah, I guess you guys will just have to put up with the light being on. Oh, not that it makes any difference. There! I just put my thumb over it. <laughs> anyway, get some more 2x3 tubing. And a twelve, and then I'll have uh, more metal. And then we'll get those other two engine stands built. At least that stuff I want. This stuff here that I used today, I uh, stood up, grind on one, come back in, sit down, grind on one, come back in. It was all rusty metal. So I ground it all up and got it all cleaned and got it ready to go. So. Instead of laying out there on the bench rest of more, it's now turned into something useful. So. Anyway, like I said, I get these done, then I can have uh, the big block and the small block up there. And maybe I can find me another 400. And uh, you know, a while back, one of you guys said you had a 400 here in Iowa, but I don't know. So, anyway, uh, I'm just going to dick around a little bit. And uh, see what I can do. So, all right, talk to you later.